check out our eight and a half by 16 custom steel frame job site trailer. Now everything about this job site trailer is heavy duty, starting with the tongue. You've got an eight inch by two inch triple tube tongue, two and five sixteenths adjustable coupler, safety chains, breakaway battery kit, and a heavy duty drop leg jack. And of course your electric plug for the lights. Your electric brakes are on both axles here. They're powered right through this plug, plug right into the back of your truck. As long as you have a brake controller, you can run those brakes. Now, you can see we've got a diamond plate generator compartment on the front here. So there's a vented door on the front. You open this up, it's got an expanded metal floor. And on the inside, we put in a generator prep kit. So all you have to do is place your generator in, plug it in, you're ready to go. Up above the diamond plate generator compartment, you can see we've got a spare tire that's mounted up out of the way. So it's completely out of the way and you don't have to deal with that inside the trailer. Now everything here is actually built with the job site in mind. So what we did is we actually raised the deck height. So you've got a big ground clearance here so you can go in and out of fields at ease. You've got stainless steel front corners, cast corners and a front wrap as well as a really nice seven inch lower aluminum trim and a four inch upper trim. Now we added the diamond plate protection uh, style trim that runs down the side as well. You've got your standard RV style door and we actually added a bar lock to it just to give you some more security. So you've got your RV door latch here and of course you can open up. Now you've got a nice piano hinge here so it's a nice ceiling solid door. So standard 6,000 pound torsion axles gives you plenty of capacity on the inside of this trailer. Now you can see we've got a spread axle here and it just displaces the weight a little bit throughout the trailer uh, as well as it actually looks really nice. You've got these nice fenderettes here as well. Uh, it's an 8 bolt 16 inch tire and you've got a nice slider window with a screen on the inside. So you've got a tinted glass window on this side. There are actually two on the other side running down to our custom tool compartment. So this lower compartment here just drops open and these upper compartments just simply twist and open up. These are actually custom built for this particular trailer. So the driver's side of the trailer, we've got our two other slider windows. Gives you a lot of natural light on the office portion of this trailer, as well as a fuel tank. So we've got an inboard fuel tank, and here's how you actually fill that tank. We've also got a mirror image of those tool compartments on this side as well. Now on the rear deck of this trailer, we went with an extruded aluminum floor. So it's a five rib plank extruded aluminum floor that actually continues into the office. And the reason we did that is we eliminated any plywood from this trailer. So you have aluminum interior walls, ceiling, extruded aluminum floor, everything on the inside, aluminum. So there's really nothing there to rot uh, from the inside out. The, uh, the space here is actually designed to put a porta potty. So you can actually strap it right against the wall with this E-Track here and it's perfect for a job site. Now up above we've got our 500 watt quartz lights on either side as well as some receptacles so you've got some nice uh, plug-in points for your electrical if you need it back here. You've also got your clearance lights and your tail lights that are down low and up high and those are all LED. So from the inside of the trailer looking toward the rear you can see we've got nice wraparound countertops to be used as computer terminals. So you've got electrical power outlets that you can just plug a laptop in and this works as a nice break room to get in and out of the elements at a job site. Uh, the extruded aluminum floor you can kind of see down below, the aluminum walls, aluminum ceiling as well. So when you walk into the entrance door, just to your left, you've got your control panels. So you've got 210 volt uh, switches here. There's one for the two halogen lights on the outside and one for the fluorescent lights. There are two on the inside and the ceiling. There's also a 12 volt switch panel for two 12 volt dome lights as well. Now this here is actually your fuel gauge uh, for the fuel system that we put on the inside to be used for your generator. Now since this trailer is intended to be used as a break room on a job site, we mounted a microwave oven in a cabinet that's attached to the overhead cabinet. So all the cabinets here are built out of aluminum. You've got some nice storage up above uh, as well as your microwave oven. Over here we've got a wardrobe closet so you can come in and out of the elements, take your jackets, and hang them here. You can see the small box down below, we've got a 12 volt deep cycle battery, as well as your converter that actually charges the battery when you plug into your 110 volt outlet. 